आज की इस वीडियो के अंदर मैं आप लोगों को बताने जा रहा हूँ ऑयल एंड गैस फील्ड प्रोजेक्ट और प्रोजेक्ट प्लानिंग कंट्रोल का आपस में कितना ज़्यादा कॉम्बिनेशन है वाई दीज पीपल आर हाईली डिमांडेड एंड हाई सैलरी हाई पेड पीपल देखें ऑयल एंड गैस फील्ड के अंदर अगर बात करें देर आर टू सर्टन फील्ड्स ऑफशोर एंड ऑनशोर यहाँ पे ईपीएफ प्रोजेक्ट्स और प्रोजेक्ट प्लानिंग कंट्रोल को थोड़ा सा रिलेट करने की मैं आपको आ, कोशिश करूंगा कि आपको समझ आए कि क्यों स्किल की बहुत ज्यादा डिमांड है हाई प्रेशर हाई टेम्परेचर इस फील्ड के अंदर एज अ प्लानिंग इंजीनियर जब आप काम करते हैं तो जब भी कोई एक वेल well ड्रिल किया जाता है एक्सट्रक्शन की जाती है हाइड्रोकार्बन आर रेडी टू कम आउट ऑफ द रेजरवायर यू डोंट हैव एवरी टाइम प्रोडक्शन uh, लाइंस आपके पास नहीं होती ऑब्वियसली यहाँ से हाइड्रोकार्बन्स निकाल के आप पहुंचाएंगे आपकी रिफाइनरी तक प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट्स तक जहाँ पे वो प्रोसेस होकर आपको डिस्ट्रीब्यूट किए जाएंगे बट समाइम्स योर ड्रिलिंग जोन योर रेजरवायर इज इन दैट एरिया विच इज हाईली रिमोट एरिया जहाँ पे प्रोडक्शन लाइन यहाँ पे प्रोडक्शन कम्प्लेक्स यूनिट्स नहीं है सो यू हैव टू कैरी आउट ई पी एफ फेसिलिटीज अर्ली प्रोडक्शन फेसिलिटीज आपने उस वेल से उस ऑयल वेल गैस वेल से जो भी हाइड्रोकार्बन निकल रहे हैं उनको पहले निकालना है और फिर यहाँ पे आप परमानेंट फैसिलिटीज परमानेंट प्रोडक्शन लाइन सेटअप नहीं करते बिकॉज देर इज अ कंस्ट्रेंट सम हाउ इट इज देयर सो यू नीड टू सेटअप ईपीएफ प्रोजेक्ट अब ईपीएफ प्रोजेक्ट का फायदा टेक्निकली भी होता है फाइनेंशियली भी होता है फाइनेंशियली इसका बेनिफिट ये होता है कि शुरू में आप ऑयल एंड गैस आ रहा है आप टेम्पररी फैसिलिटीज होती हैं टेम्पररी फैसिलिटीज के थ्रू आप अपने प्रोजेक्ट के हाइड्रोकार्बन को सेल आउट कर रहे हो और आपको पैसे आ रहे हैं उन पैसों के थ्रू उस बजट के थ्रू आप अपने उस प्रोजेक्ट को इनहेंस कर सकते हो इट कैन किल द बजट और कॉस्ट कंस्ट्रेंट ऑफ दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टेक्निकल फायदा ये होता है कि आपको आइडिया हो जाता है कि ये किस तरह के हाइड्रोकार्बन है मुझे किस तरह के वैल्व लगाने की जरूरत है प्रेशर क्या है रेजरवायर की बिहेवियर किस तरीके से होगा यू हैव अलॉट ऑफ डाटा एंड यू कैन लेटर ऑन आफ्टर वन ईयर टू ईयर यू कैन ऑर्डर दोज काइंड ऑफ इक्विपमेंट पाइपलाइन वैल्व एंड ऑल दैट सो टेक्निकल और फाइनेंशियली इट्स वेरी गुड एंड अर्ली प्रोडक्शन फैसिलिटीज को प्रोजेक्ट प्लानिंग कंट्रोल की बहुत ज्यादा जरूरत होती है बिकॉज दिस इज हाई रिस्क प्रोजेक्ट इस हाई रिस्क प्रोजेक्ट के अंदर आपको अपने प्रोजेक्ट की डिजाइनिंग बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट uh, है आपके लिए प्रोक्योरमेंट कौन कौन सी चीजें फैब्रिकेशन में चल रही होंगी एंड देन कंस्ट्रक्शन टू सेट अप दोज ऑल इक्विपमेंट्स टूगेदर टू कोआर्डिनेट विद ई पी एफ प्रोजेक्ट सक्सेसफुली सो आइए मैं आपको लैपटॉप पे लेके चलता हूँ और इस पे मैं बताता हूँ कि किस तरीके से आपने प्राइमावरा पी सिक्स के अंदर इसके डिफरेंट फेजेज को समझना है सो हेयर ऑन लैपटॉप आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट यू पीपल concepts how to understand this oil and gas project as a planning engineer and i have already compiled few deliverables in primavera p6 file so before getting into primavera p6 i will share with you how to understand the concept early production facility so here we are this is actually visualized picture that how this setup will be placed on ground and how to do the things uh, so you can see there are storage tanks there is piping there is emergency shutdown there is flow lines uh instrumentation and all that this is actually complete setup of epf early production facilities so how to do this project as a planning engineer on primavera p6 so here early production facilities actually these are temporary setups used by oil and gas companies to initiate production from a field well before the permanent facility is built as i already explained you people that this is temporary setup and uh, this approach is particularly valuable in the oil and gas industry for several reasons financial gains technical advantage and strategic benefits so you can see over here that there are multiple factors you can um, uh, in uh, corporate in your concept that speed to market when there are some oil and gas wells which are in remote area and you don't have that much resources to lay down the pipeline storage tanks and all that you can make this temporary facilities and you can have speedy earning revenue generation to set up that production field okay field appraisal they provide an opportunity such projects will provide you opportunity to assess the characteristics of the reservoirs some project some wells oil and gas wells they are newly drilled you don't have that much characteristic understanding so you need to understand reservoir the people who are actually having oil and gas knowledge they will understand my point of view that your reservoir pressure temperature water cut these are the characteristics which is which are going to impact on your completion jewelry selection of pipeline selection of equipment so this setup will help you in longer run to understand your uh, that setup for the permanent kind of things reduced initial investment flexibility so these are actually golden points which are going to help you in longer run and then 
Early revenue generation is the very golden opportunity. Lower capital expenditures, capex is going to be reduced uh, by a larger margin. Risk mitigation, the lower initial cost and the data gathered from these two things are going to lower your risk. So, if somebody is going to ask you what are the benefits of early production facilities projects. So, these projects are now in more fashion for the oil and gas companies for these golden uh, benefits. Okay. So, these are the things I wanted uh, to discuss with you people. So, next uh, you can see that technical benefits. Why technically these projects are more feasible reservoir performance data. As I already mentioned that reservoir performance data is going to impact on your selection of equipment testing different production strategies because oil and gas is totally depending on your strategy how you are drain your reservoir what should be the you know pressure wellhead pressure what should be the uh, choke size so this stage early production facility is going to help you people to make the strategy to get the optimum stages for the you know production strategies adaptability technical adjustment can be made relatively quickly in response to unexpected challenges or new information and same way there are few points over here as well uh, you know feasibility study design and planning um, these are the important things to implement at least production facilities uh, regulatory compliance partnership with supplier, installation, operational management, continuous evaluation. And uh, then uh, there are the things which you have to go through for a, you know, uh, setup of a early production facilities projects. You have to define the scope. You have to identify deliverables, activity identification, breakdown structure, which I am going through after this slide. Identify activities, sequencing activities, the relationship of activities with each other, critical path, resource allocation. So, identify activities, everything you have to go through uh, step by step to uh, make your project in proper scheduling way. Okay. So, here I am going to move on to the next slide. And here, these are the important, uh, you know, steps you have to go through to build your project, to build your early production facilities baseline. I'm not going into the details of every point, but I have just put up these points in front of you people that you should, you have to go through all these things. You have to identify risks. You have to make schedule integration, documentation, track progress. These are the important points. Now let's start with our real project things. See, this is the data I have gathered on Excel sheet and you can see over here. I will show, share with you the first, uh, this is designing phase because already I have explained you people that if I'll share with you Primavera P6 dashboard that this project will also go through. This is EPF project, but it will go through the things like I will share with you. Just give me a moment. The first stage is same. Engineering, procurement and construction. Engineering means design, build up design, procurement, uh, arrangement of material, your equipment and construction is uh, setup of your civil works, setup of your uh, equipment installation and commissioning. So that is our project template. The name of project is EPF, Early Production Facilities. It's uh, the functionality basis name, oil and gas. That's what I have been explaining the things so far. So, keeping this thing in your mind, what kind of design you require? Okay, so I'm going to start it with you people on sharing over here. See, this is Excel file. I have, there is uh, engineering, mean design. So, if I can go through, there is project basis of design. So, I will just make it zoom so that this is project basis of design issue for, these are the steps for every oil and gas project. So these are the activities you have to go through to finalize your design. Then there are process flow diagrams. You understand what does mean by PFD. There are process equipment layout and then flow, uh, arrow flow chart that will help you to understand which equipment will come on which uh, position and the connectivity with each other. So how it will be compiled. These are the steps and then heat and material balance. Okay. These are the activities. Then piping and instrumentation. 
then cause and effect diagram so these are designing parameters you have to compile in designing phase equipment layout safety layout and same way see this pipe stress analysis design review this is only design is going on right now hazard has a review okay because oil and gas field require everything as long as it concerns with safety concerns with stress analysis concerns with hazard and all that so these are the and uh, with the uh, meeting with client consultant we have also defined the you know timeline and we have developed this gantt chart as well but see equipment selection this is procurement already start, started there are equipment we need oil storage tanks i have shown you people the uh, you know diagram in which you can see oil storage water skimmer uh, piping emergency shutdown valves piping support fabrication so these are the major equipment we need to install on that side so this is procurement oil storage piping fabrication is going on then instrument fitting which will be installed so every this raw data uh, have been compiled in excel in very sequential way before getting into primavera p6 and same way in execution phase what you need uh, to do uh, with respect to your execution pre commissioning commissioning and all these things now if i'll share with you people primavera p6 dashboard so what you need to do you have to load uh, the things in primavera p6 and same way see there is engineering okay there are all the and there is procurement two deliverables so there is one thing overall project engineering 1.2 1.3 and ex execution should be outside as well see th these are the three major deliverables so when once i will develop these major deliverables engineering procurement and execution okay you can uh, uh, write here uh, here procurement as well okay so you have to add the you know smaller work packages and go into the activities see properties uh, project basis of design and everything which i we have compiled in excel so still i have every activity is interlinked every set of activities are interlinked but work packages like this work package has to interlink with another work package same as i can show you in excel sheet see dates are concluded over here so see this why this work package is going to start from here because this will be completed this will be started same way this linkage we have to develop this linkage in uh, primavera p6 and uh, why this work package see this work package is going to start from here there is a logic okay so we have to set up these relationships once we will develop all these relationships in primavera p6 we will get cpm critical path method on the basis of that critical path method we are going to allocate our resources in oil and gas sector it is very important to develop a true cpm because on the basis of that cpm our resource utilization will be estimated we can contact our uh, supplier we can contact our uh, vendor to supply all the materials all the resources resources should be on site because epf can be offshore and onshore offshore is more sensitive when it talks about resource availability it can uh, make you loss of million of dollars if resource are, resources are not available on the right time so that's why epf projects are very important so after this we will go into cost management resource management integration management cpm development s curves and all that and that's how this epf project will be developed i hope you people understand this concept that why and how and what are the reasons behind epf projects and as an engineer if you want to develop primavera p6 skills with oil and gas uh, oriented uh, knowledge uh, industry based real project knowledge then you can join my uh, primavera p6 uh, uh, skilled training sessions in which i am going to help you i am going to train you i am going to coach you uh, in real way that you can enable you will be enabled by the end of this training that how to understand oil and gas offshore onshore uh, different kind of projects to uh, how to schedule them how to plan them how to make resource analysis how to make project tracking and all that i hope you people uh, got a lot of concepts out of this video and uh, write in comment area about your feedback and um, what you like about this video and if you want to develop such skills 
डोंट फॉरगेट टू ज्वाइन माई अपकमिंग सेशन थैंक यू वेरी मच